The Clone Wars is awesome. The massive battle scenes, the vast worlds, the amazing character arcs, both the Genny Tartakovsky 2003 and the Dave Filoni 2008 versions are nearly perfect in their own respects. E except for the movie, we, we don't talk about the movie. You ask just about any fan about either and they'll tell you, that shit's my jam. However, there is but one glaring flaw in the CG series. One issue dragging the experience. This guy. This little pansy ass bitch. I fear the best way to explain this is to go back to the beginning. So, let's break it down. Clone Wars 2003, Chapter 20. Obi-Wan is contacted by fellow Jedi Master Dakman Barak. Republic forces on the planet Hypori have been decimated thanks to the work of a ruthless new droid general. But before we can get any more information, communications are severed. Cut to next shot, he has been slain by an unknown entity. And then, he appears. A tall, menacing, brooding, robotic cape figure with hundreds of units behind him. We then see there are only six Jedi left on the battlefield, taking shelter to discuss strategies while they are surrounded by enemy forces. He speaks, warning the Jedi of their fate. Jedi. You are surrounded. Your army is decimated. Make peace with the Force now. For this is your final hour. But know that I, Jedi Grievous, am held completely without mercy. I will grant you a warrior's death. Prepare. And then, silence. Soon followed by the sound of slow, mechanical footsteps. A Padawan in the group starts to panic as Kiati Mundi attempts to calm him down. The sound grows louder, the enemy draws closer, and then, deafening silence once more. The Padawan loses it, he can't take any more of the pressure. He charges out in the open. Within a mere instant, Shaggy gets zoinked. The menacing villain has been revealed to the surviving warriors, and then, with a giant leap, quickly vanishes. Intimidated, the remaining Jedi huddle up but are then soon separated by the dual saber-wielding monstrosity. Within a minute and a half, he takes out four of them, killing two and mortally wounding the others. This leaves only Kiati standing, who would have been met with a similar fate if it weren't for the excellently timed arrival of clone reinforcements. Keep in mind that even though Grievous absconds from the scene, he only does it after he realizes he's outgunned by heavy firepower and that his forces have been eliminated. There is nothing wrong with a tactical retreat. Trust me, we'll get to that later. Let's move to chapters 23 through 25. Grievous is sent on a mission to capture Supreme Chancellor Palpatine. Now does he A. Bombard his office with a massive droid army that blasts any soldier or Jedi that gets in the way, or B. Wait till the dead of night, sneak into his apartment, and snatch him without making so much as a peep. The answer? Neither. Instead, he does in fact bring an army with him, but only to distract a majority of Republic forces from the primary objective, which his method to achieving is scaling the 500 Republica building, and then smashing through Palpatine's goddamn apartment window in the middle of daylight. He knowingly does this in front of a batch of troopers and bodyguards, who are also accompanied by three Jedi. Now, normally, attempting this if you aren't a two and a half meter tall robo-chad would be absolute suicide. For this guy, though? It's a spice run. Shakti wastes little time removing the Chancellor, taking her Jedi comrades and two clones with her. The rest of the soldiers are left to deal with the cyborg, who then proceeds to massacre the entire room. Grievous ruthlessly gives chase until he has what he came for, not stopping for even an instant. And though the Jedi fought valiantly, Grievous adds three more sabers to his collection, all while sparing one, Shock T, only so she can feel the pain of humiliating defeat. He is almost stopped just in time by Mace Windu, who cripples the beast right before he manages to make his escape. Now let's review what we just discussed. That was pretty sick, right? This dude was a nigh unstoppable Jedi hunting machine. He was cool, calculated, and downright terrifying for anyone unlucky enough to be his prey. Just look at this lad. Look at him! This absolute unit! Alright, let's move forward to the 2008 series. Surely it would do a massive legend such as this some justice. I will kill you all! Do you hear me, Jedi? Do you hear me? <laughs> I am the leader of the most powerful. 
galaxy has ever seen. The Jedi have been defeated. Victory over the clones and the young Jedi was expected. But to best a Jedi Master, this is truly an accomplishment worthy of recognition. The Jedi Fisto escaped. Look on the mask of my boy. If you look up the word downgrade in the dictionary, this guy's picture will show up. This Grievous is an absolute embarrassment. An all talk, no bite, cowardly botched abortion who constantly runs away at just about any sign of trouble. They turn my dude into a fragile Chinese knockoff who trips over himself so frequently you could almost use him as a spokesperson for life alert. This little bitch right here has only killed one single Jedi on screen by cheating in a duel. Sad. And how many did the Gendi Grievous kill on screen? Oh, that's right, six. Six. And the only person, the only person that managed to put him in his place pre Revenge of the Sith had to be one of the most powerful Jedi in the Order. So it made sense why he ended up as a rickety bucket of bolts with a case of the coops. <coughs> okay, maybe I'm being a bit too hard on this guy. Maybe, just maybe, the Filoni version can do something cool. Like, uh, let's say, slaughter an army of Gungans. That sounds easy enough, right? R right? Are you kidding me? So, not only did you get defeated and captured by a primitive race armed with only pointed sticks and electric bowling balls, but you only managed to kill a measly three of them. Three! Absolutely pathetic! Now, keep in mind, that this is the canon version of the character. And not this. This! Doctor, where are you? Don't be upset with me, Master. If you were a better fighter, we would not be having this conversation. And not this. Chancellor Palpatine, are you all right? Yes, thanks to your two Jedi Knights. They killed Count Dooku, but General Grievous has escaped once again. General Grievous will run and hide as he always does. He's a coward. Wait, what was that line? General Grievous will run and hide as he always does. He's a coward. Grievous will run and hide as he always does. Run and hide as he always does. Run and hide as he always does. He's a coward. Oh my god, the 2003 series was never canon. This whole time, the character was just meant to be a meme. Sure!